Hello, today I'm going to talk to you about adaptive release settings. Adaptive release settings allow you to dictate who can see what within your Blackboard site. Adaptive release settings can be applied for anything in your Blackboard site, from a presentation that you've posted to a test or an assignment. To begin, you'll need to enter into your Blackboard site and locate the item that you wish to restrict. Click on the drop down arrow for that item and then select Adaptive Release. This brings us to the Adaptive Release page. From here, there's four main types of restrictions that you can apply to an item. The first is a date restriction. This should look familiar. When you create an assignment or test, these options already appear. If you forgot to set it or wish to make changes, you can set the date restrictions here. Setting a display after or display until date will limit when a student can see this item. For example, if I want something to display after Valentine's Day, I can select Valentine's Day. When I click Submit, that will save it so that the item is not visible until Valentine's Day. Similarly, if I set the display until date to a different date, the item would disappear at that date for all students within the course. The next adaptive release setting we have is Membership. Restricting an item by membership makes it super simple to restrict items to certain groups of students. For example, if you have multiple course sections and you only want a certain section of students to see a certain assignment, you can use the Adaptive Release Membership setting to do so. All you need to do is have groups already set up and then use the group selector here to move over the groups that you want to have access to this item. Similarly, you can select individual users who should have access to this item using the username box up above. Simply type in their case ID or click the Browse button to locate the students who should have access to this item. The third Adaptive Release setting is the Grade setting. The grade setting can be a little confusing, so let me explain. The grade criteria requires students to have a specific performance indicator met for a grade center column within your Blackboard site. Let's say that I have an item that I don't want students to see until they've passed their first test. To do this, I would simply select the first test in the drop-down column selector here, and then select the conditions that must be met down below. This says that once a student reaches that 100%, the item will be made available to them. Until that point, they will not see the item in Blackboard. The fourth and final adaptive release option is a review status option. What this requires is that a student marks an item as reviewed before they can see the next item. For example, let's say that I have some rules that students must agree to before they can see the first reading. I can set that up by selecting the rules and regulations down in the review status options. Once this is submitted, students will need to click that they reviewed that before they can see the other content. Adaptive release settings let you customize how students interact with your content. You can apply multiple rules all at once to restrict content to different people. Adaptive release rules can be fun, so experiment around with them to make them fit your course's needs. That concludes this video about adaptive release in Blackboard. If you have any additional questions or concerns, please contact the help desk at 368help or at help.case.edu. Thanks for watching.